Hey, what's up everybody? Kevin here with Fandroid.com and today we are looking at the Casio G's One Commando. This is the first Android entry into Verizon and Casio's G's One lineup um, and also their first smartphone, Verizon's first smartphone with um, this ruggedized casing. It's going to be water resistant, dust resistant, shock resistant. You can drop it and it's not going to break. Um, and that's mostly thanks to this really kind of compact, rubberized um, bevel that you have here. That's very kind of bouncy rubber that's going to keep it from getting scratched nice and keep the screen down away from the edges so if you drop it on its face it's going to hit there. You're probably going to either love or hate the design of this phone. Um, it is a bit chunky. It does look a bit industrial. So if you're looking for something super sleek um, then this might not be the handset for you. On the front we've got a 3.6 inch 480 by 800 resolution screen um, your various sensors up here and your ear microphone. There's also uh, a set of stereo speakers here for speaker phone and uh, watching video and, and listening to music. Uh, your basic Android buttons, touch buttons along the bottom there. Um, not sure what the point are, but kind of a cool little detail are these four little uh, thumb screws just kind of give it that more rugged look, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. So let's take a look over here on the uh, right side of the phone. You'll see we've got a notification light there on the side. Kind of a strange place to put the notification light because um, you can't just see it by looking down at the phone, but uh, it is there nonetheless. You've got a dedicated camera key right there. You've got your headphone and your USB uh, jacks are right here. And they're both covered up with these sort of rubberized um, sort of port covers so that you know, keep water out from getting into the phone. So if you need to use those, you gotta pop these little pieces up like that, and you'll see it just right there. It's your standard micro USB charging. The bottom of the phone and the top of the phone don't have much going on. Switch over to the left side of the phone. We have uh, your power key, your volume rocker, and this is uh, a special tactile key which you can assign to do pretty much anything on the phone just with a push of that, and it will call up. Uh, you could do anything as precise as dialing a specific phone number uh, or you could just pull up an application, your email, something like that. So taking a look around the back of the phone you'll see we have the camera with LED flash and uh, your battery cover here. And the battery cover to take that off it's actually got a little lock here and you have to lo unlock it and uh, kind of work this up. It's on there pretty good to keep the uh, phone watertight, airtight so you get that up. There you see, there's a uh, 1460 milliamp battery right there um, inside the phone. If you look there on this, you see kind of the rubber dot, rubberized gasket seal for the battery cover. And uh, very fits in there real snug. So when you get it back in there, you kind of have to work it around the edges and really make sure it's down on there tight. Lock it and you're good to go. Inside the phone there's an 800 megahertz processor which actually feels pretty quick when you're flipping through Casio's um, custom user interface on top of Android and we'll take a look more at the software side of things later. Okay so let's take a closer look at the tactile key on the G's One Commando. Um, right now if you hit it you'll see that it's default assigned to open up this G's Gear suite of applications which um, come with the phone and we'll look at those a little bit more in depth later. But for now if we want to go and just change what that does, we just go into Settings, Personalization, Assign App to Tactile Key, and there's your full list of things that you can sign here, all your different specific applications, um, a contact, direct dial, direct message, uh, any of those sort of things, any application or bookmark or whatnot. So that's how you would change what it's going to go on with this Tactile Key, and that's very useful. Pretty cool feature for either a frequently used action or um, I mean, if, if, if you're in the workforce and you're using this, maybe you have work gloves on and can't use the touch screen, um, you can just hit that key and call up whatever function you need to call up. Another feature we touched on earlier that you don't see that often in Android smartphones is a front-facing um, stereo speaker. And, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they don't do this, because normally, you know, you have your phone, you're going to sit it down on the table, and if we're watching a video, say, now you can see the video but the audio is going to be coming out behind the phone and getting muffled on the table so I mean, it just seems logical that more phones would have these front facing speakers but it's a cool feature and we'll just kind of show that off here using these guided tour videos that come in the phone um, 
pretty loud uh, speaker, very good sounds. I actually got kind of a bass response to it, which is interesting. It's um, very kind of booming, so uh, we'll just hit this video and play it, and you'll, you can hear. I'm not sure how good it's going to sound, but... So that's all coming out of the speaker here. You'll see, so if you were to put this a little bit muffled, right? You put it up. Pretty clear, good sound. One of the major pitfalls of the G's One Commando uh, is a touch screen that is often pretty unresponsive, you see. I can't really just quickly flip through things, clicking on things that I don't want to click on. Go back here. So you see, I'm just trying to do simple web navigation. Um, and the web pages load pretty quick, but the actual scrolling, if you get a nice pool in there, but there really isn't that capability to kind of flick through a web page like that. So we're a little disappointed in the responsiveness of the touchscreen. At times we've been trying to, you know, navigate a video and select some place on the, the video uh, bar and it won't go there, it won't feel that. So the, the touchscreen has been given some problems. So Definitely, if I had to name the major uh, pitfall of the hardware for the Commando, it would be that, that touch screen and its lack of response. The actual screen looks pretty good, colors look pretty good, um, and you can see it's pretty quick. So, it's just that responsiveness of being able to flick through. As I was saying, the look of this phone you're probably either going to love or hate. Some people are going to think it's just a bit too chunky, a bit too rubbery looking, and other people might love the look, but uh, if you are on Verizon and you need something with this durable this durable body here, then not only is this your only choice, but it's not a bad choice at all. So that's a look at the hardware of the Casio G's One Commando.